along with Felker and McCarthy near the bottom of the order. Those are the four 300 hitters in this lineup. The 2-2 two -two pitch, swing and a miss, an off-speed pitch. The cutter action. Here's the make it happen pitch at 2-2. Two -two. And this one is hit pretty well. Morgan is chasing it in the corner. He stabs it as he gets to the railing in foul ground. That ground ball is hit on the left side, backhanded by the shortstop, a wide throw. Trey Morgan is safe at first base. The 0-2 to Cruz. Check swing, out at second, out at first. And that's the fifth double play that the Tigers have hit into over the last game plus two outs. The 2-2 pitch. Lifted to left field and Cruz is drawing a bead on it. He backs up, he turns back around and he's got it. That was a 10 pitch inning. Beloso waves at an off-speed pitch and strikes out. He did the same thing yesterday on an off-speed pitch. Jared Jones waits. He's on a nine-game hitting streak. That's the longest for LSU right now. And this one will make it 10. Way, way back. You can pucker up and kiss that baby goodbye. Jared Jones smashes one into the left field bleachers. And the Tigers on that swing. Take a 1-0 lead. Jared Jones now is in double figures in home runs with 10. Well, the, the thing that's impressive about that home run is it came off of a breaking ball. You know, at times Jones can, you know, get a little weird on those curve balls, but that time first pitch, slow curve. His third hit of the series. He's now three for seven with four runs driven in. And a leaping catch is made on the right side of the diamond him to go at least three innings and he's done that at least and who knows what the what the number is going to be when all said and done today jordan thompson throws smith out from deep shortstop that was an eight pitch inning the three one pitch ripped into left field morgan got the fat part of the bat on the middle of the ball pack is the second base umpire Eric Gaucher is the third base umpire. And Cruz steers one through the left side. Morgan will have to stop at second base as Dylan Cruz maintains that 500 average. White is first pitch swinging, dribbles it slowly to the left side. And the throw is pulling the first baseman away from the bag. Morgan scores. Cruz is trying to get to third, and he's thrown out there. But the Tigers do get Morgan's run. And there's a four pitch pass. Now something to look at, even though Christian Little got off to the, to such a good start through the first three. There you see the American flag at the top of your screen. And the pitch very much out of the strike zone. Three walks in the inning have loaded the bases. Burks at the plate. He's got a teammate on every base. That gets away, and Kentucky's going to get a run out of it. A wild pitch gives Kentucky its first run of the game. First base is unoccupied. He tried to steer that breaking pitch over and left it very high. The infield is at double play depth. LSU leads two to one. There's the strikeout, and that's a big one. Yeah, one with the off speed. Ground ball right side. This could be some trouble. Gidry manages to pick it up right in front of Jared Jones and then get over to the bag for the out. We're so happy to be, you know, a part of Dylan Wise and, and really his, uh, his, his, his dream of going to the Major League Baseball. Much of your life. What sort of advice have you given him to handle that kind of that kind of pressure? It's been a, a, a great college atmosphere, and uh, I really enjoy myself down there. Jared Jones is caught looking, and he's not happy as he walks back to the dugout. Angel Reese, Dylan Cruz, <laughs> Joe Burrow, at least in the last 10 years, and I think a balk is called. Actually, it, yeah. It's going to be a time violation. Well, that's so the that first loads the bases. It. Thanks for rounding Thurman Thomas up. That was a great conversation. Left side it goes to second for one. Relay to first. Double play. Wow. That's getting it done out of the bullpen. 
And he does on four consecutive deliveries. Sneaking in from third. That pitch gets away and rolls all the way to the right side. It'll be an advance of a base. So he wouldn't be far from going in if they chose to go that route. Let's see if the Tigers let this bunt go by. And Tommy White does pick it up, but throws late to first base. This will produce a run. Gidry gets it over to first base for the out. The sacrifice is successful by Gray, and we've got a brand new ball game. And Gidry misses outside. The inning continues today in softball at Auburn. A check swing, and he committed, and Gidry Gets the strikeout he needed as Gillum goes down. Tigers in the fourth. Malazzo chops one left side and it sneaks its way into left field. Alex Malazzo is aboard. He's been the leadoff batter the last two games. The ball eludes the catcher and the wild pitch. Morgan pulls it to the right side. That will move Malazzo to third with one out. They're going to go ahead and walk him to try to set up the double play, and that's probably a good idea. One out. Runners on the corners. There's only one play. It's to first base. It's nicely done by Grant Smith. White was a little bit fooled by that pitch, but he still managed to pick up the RBI on the weak hopper to the left side. The Tigers regain the lead. Belker. Over to first, a high throw, but the tag is made. Gidry with a very compact windup, brings it over the top, and a liner is drilled into left field, a base hit for Burks. That's the first hit of the game for Kentucky out of the infield. There's a liner the other uh, to right field, and it's returned quickly to the infield. It scoots all the way through, and White is able to grab it at third base. The infield is shifted a bit. Runners on the move. The peg down. And the second tag. And the runner is safe. A double steal executed. Ground ball to the shortstop. There'll be one play, and that's the first base. Jordan Thompson guns it over there. But McCarthy put it in play, and the runner scores from third. The 2-2 pitch. Steve, right three. Grant Smith is caught for excessive window shopping. He belts it high. He belts it deep. You can pucker up and kiss this baby goodbye. A mammoth home run over the left center field wall. His 11th of the year. And Jared Jones hit one into Whoop. the stratosphere. You couldn't find that one with a subpoena. 453 feet. Exit speed of 111, that's two off of uh, Tommy White yesterday at a 29 degree angle, 453 feet. An 0-2 fastball, and you see, look, look you see Jones, <laughs> you saw Jones yelling at the pitcher right there because he quick pitched him the first two, asked for time, came back and got it. And I think the umpires might be talking about it right here. Here's a drive into left center field. That's down for a base hit. It's going to roll to the wall. And Kentucky gets a leadoff two-bagger. That's a four-pitch base on balls. The go-ahead run moves to first base. That's beyond excessive. This could be trouble. It is headed deep into the right center field gap, and it is down on the warning track. Taken by Jobert out there. One Wildcat scores. Here comes another, and Kentucky has regained the lead. Hunter Gillum with a deep drive off the warning track in right center field. Plates a couple of teammates. The Wildcats have regained the advantage. On the breaking ball, you see it's up around the letters, and Petre and Gillum are such a dangerous combo in the middle of that lineup right here. Joe Bear cuts the ball off, but his relay throw was wide right. They led four to three after six. And this ball is going to drop into right field as Kentucky has 
picked up another run. So last night, the second half of the game belonged to the Wildcats. And Kentucky has come back with one in the fourth, one in the fifth, one in the sixth, and three in the seventh. LSU has nine outs with which to work. There's a good start for LSU in the bottom of the seventh. A solid knock to right by Morgan. His second hit of the game. Thompson smashes that into the left field corner. Morgan will score easily. Thompson is on his way to second base. And he has delivered. That is the 17th two-out RBI by Thompson. He's now tied with none other than Tommy White to lead the team in that category. Both of them have 17 two-out RBIs, and that is a big, big swing by Jordan Thompson. I mean, two-out RBIs should be worth almost double. They're so, so clutch. He rips it into right field. Thompson rounds third. Thompson coming to the plate as hard as he can. Here's the throw. Not in time. Cade Veloso delivers, and here come the Tigers. Yeah, they didn't do it much yesterday, but they did it here, and it counted in the seventh. Back-to-back, -back, two out hits. He is first pitch swinging. He lifts it high behind second base. Second baseman with the shift on. Backpedals and makes the play. That's Petre. And that's just off the mark. This is a guy who was prone to striking out. In the uh, eighth and ninth. A bell tie in deep. Morgan is back. Morgan is on the warning track. It is settles into the glove of Trey Morgan. Woo. Ronnie Rance, Slim Rollins with you. Thank you for being part of our SEC baseball audience. On this gray day in Baton Rouge, Tigers get an immediate hitter aboard. The runner is moving. Malazzo is swinging. The peg down bounces in safe. Braden Jobert hustles into scoring position. That's ball four. Now this does set up an opportunity for a double play. Byers has to come to Cruz. He's going to see a good pitch to set back. Well, they're going to walk Cruz and load oh, wow. the bases. You don't see that very That is the way. ultimate sign of respect. This is a guy who's hitting 516 with runners in scoring position, and they walk him. The game on the line right here. That hits him. White is hit by a pitch. And the Tigers take the lead as Kentucky's Strategy backfired. They walk Cruz with runners at first and second to load the bases. This pitch bears in and hits White on the hip. And the Tigers of LSU take a 7-6 lead. Two outs, bases loaded. The pitch, swing and a miss. Thompson chased one. That was elevated. The Aggies are 7-8. and eight. Swing and a miss. They'll have to be a play. Malazzo runs a long way out of the diamond. Collins has been the modern day Paul Bertasini with all those breaking balls and he throws another good one. Jordan Thompson has time. Fires a strike over the first base, two outs. Trying to go two and third and get the, get the win today. A liner to center field. A Cruz will cut it off. Collins laid that breaking pitch right over the middle of the plate. Felker has had singles in his last two at bats. This one has bounced to the right side. Napolt is up with it over the first base. LSU is a winner. And this game was like a teeter-totter. It went back and forth, back and forth.